Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Shelter 2 1.2 Pets and Pests. It's live stream 4. That's right, this is going to be the 7th and 8th hours already of Season 3. Shocking, I know. Um, bear with me momentarily, though. I will be back in a second because I need to go and get something quickly. Okie dokie, right, getting set up for the stream. Unfortunately, the thing is with um, what I use, XSplit, you can see it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it doesn't allow you to pre-prep your channel. It does to an extent, but not to a degree that I would wish. Um, I may actually also upgrade it eventually to the uh, paid for version, uh, primarily so that I can also multi-stream. So I can stream to uh, Twitch and YouTube and Facebook all at the same time uh, to increase my audience share, but uh, is what it is. Uh, let's say hi in the super chat just so everyone knows I'm there and get things started okay so close this off here we are back in the shelter on this fine Tuesday evening and catch her by the looks of it needs sleep quite desperately so let's get her to bed uh, what are you doing out there are you doing stuff or are you walking around no you are just walking around have we got anything in there no okay can't plant seeds though. Interesting. We can plant seeds in this one, but we can't in this one. So we might actually have to deconstruct it. That is a bit of a fail. Let's try you. No. So the character is already using this object, so that is there from the previous save. Uh, that's not great. Our little greenhouse, our main thing. Hi, Skay20. Oh, well, just Skay. Hi, Skay. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. Uh, we've got a trader about to arrive, uh, but I think we are going to need to deconstruct it. So, sadly, go and deconstruct, please, and then we'll need to rebuild it. Hopefully, we can. Let's uh, go to the trader and see what the trader's got. Ooh, okay. Three bullets, but more importantly, some flashbangs. Uh, we'll take the one star and the two star. We'll take the two star flashbang and the three star flashbang. Okay, that's a total of 213. Okay, let's go. How many? Ah, oh, we've got plenty. That's good. We've got loads of circuit boards, so we can use those. 198, that's a 66% chance of a deal. Uh, let's go down to some slightly cheaper stuff. Uh, there is two star glass. In fact, let's just put GL in there just to bring it down because we've got 32 glass now. So 203, 209, attempt trade, trade agreed. Fantastic, lovely stuff. Clear the notifications and he can pop outside and get that done. Uh, you on the other hand, uh, might as well go and take a shower. Seeing as it's raining outside, so might as well, and our water is full. Hi, Cheese, welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, as always, my good friend, welcome and goodbye in the same sentence. Okay, let's go with Charisma, and let's go with Convincing Voice, purchase the upgrade. There we go, and Fortitude. Uh, let's give a home turf advantage, I think. There we go. Okay. Any other skills in the rest of our crew? No, there is not. Oh, we double queued the sleep. She actually went to sleep anyway. And let's collect the stuff from our recycler. So take all and confirm. Right, we've got three glass and four pipes back. And let's now craft object tier two and make the greenhouse back again and then deconstruct this one and go to sleep oh no not rest I said sleep there we go okay you sir on the other hand what are you doing let's uh, dismiss that for fast dismantling and go to his stats okay so dex was one of the ones that we needed to improve so go and exercise Let's have a look at the repair state of everything. Oh dear, that's about to go 
Kaboom. So let's go and get it repaired. I swear he just teleported then. Interesting. Okay, go and repair. Anything else need repairing? Eh, not really, but the bed does. Okay, more items collected. Fantastic. Uh, you, sir, can now go to sleep. And let's go to Alist Alistair and get him after he's repaired that to craft an object. We want another uh, greenhouse. So we'll get a mini greenhouse here as well. We'll get that done. So we have two. And of course, at the tail end of uh, the stream, we added um, the chicken coop. Hi, Nerd of Anarchy. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sure you'll find another bug to mention every time you drop into the chat and slide into uh, slide into super chat. Right. Let's add chickens. Uh, we've got four in total, so two star. Let's get it added. Add chicken. Uh, no. What? Uh, no. Oh yeah, that's feed. Okay, that's fine. Yep, no, we don't want to do that. It's dark now. Let's add another chicken. There we go. Two. And we're going to keep two eggs because last time we lost our chickens. So, and we do need to add feed as well. Uh, not sure quite how much. So that's 60% uh, for the spinach soup. That's of course going to be 100. Uh, so we'll just put 60% in there. Normal. Chickens will each be fed 5% feed each day. Overfeed. Chickens will each be fed 7% feed each day. Underfeed. 3%. No, we'll do it on normal. Okay, confirm. Okay. Alistair's increased dexterity. That's very good. And off he trots outside. Okay, we've got both of these items now constructed, I think. Or has he just wandered off? Let's, uh, why is it still? Ah, okay. Right, okay, yes, we got Alistair to do the second one, didn't we? And he should have gone to bed. Yes, and Catcher is up and about. That is good. Okay, stats, dex or strength, doesn't really matter which one. So let's get it repaired first, and then exercise. We want to improve everyone's stats on this, and ideally get a fourth person uh, into our faction as well. Uh, how's the Jenny doing? Uh, 1.85 fuel. It's only using 0.22, so that is fine as well. The annoying uh, moose is back out there. Let's see what we've got for recycling. If anything, of course. Uh, scrolling through, doesn't look like there's really anything that we need to recycle. Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Close it off. Okay, so that's one chicken done. And another chicken done. Okay, so we can now go to manage and currently called chicken. So let's change that to Bertha and Glenda. There we go. There are our chickens, Glenda and Bertha. They're eggs at the moment, but of course they will hatch in the not too distant future. Right click for additional options, change name. I've already done that because I could click it without doing it. Okay, close. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, cat. We forgot about the cat. How's the cat bowl doing? 60% full. That's good. Toilet's 20% full. Okay, that's also okie dokie. Speed up time. In fact, we should probably clear the notifications. I actually thought that was a person walking to our junk pile. No, it's a stag. That one's actually got horns. So we've seen a female and a male, interestingly. Okay, again, let's speed up time. There we go. Georgie is up and about. Uh, we haven't got anything for him to do at the moment other than repair stuff. Uh, in fact, what we'll also do is add fuel to the generator. Yep. And then we will uh, repair it. And we'll wait for him to add the fuel and then we'll get him to clean it as well. So he's going to be freezing to death by the time he's done. Uh, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. There we go. Now you can clean it as well. And then after you've done that, okay, so repair, clean and repair, and repair, just making sure everything, so yep, that one as well, repair, how's the stuff outside doing? Okay, so he's got five tasks, so six, shadow, return with these items from the wasteland, nice, broken toys, another silver nugget, and two meat, nice. Okay, and repair, 
and repair. I think Katya's finished her exercise. She has. Okay. So I think that's pretty much everything repaired that needs be. Uh, so she needs the toilet and the shower. So let's get that sorted. So use the toilet and take a shower with soap. Might as well. We have a supply. And let's get those skill points spent. Okay. So fortitude. Uh, we still haven't unlocked uh, two, so reduce the effects of broken limbs, no. What we want, shake it off, so 25% less likely to be dazed, that's another good one to have. And for dexterity, we're going to want to start bringing up the uh, gun skills, so ranged weapon training, there we go, that also unlocks tier two. So, perfect stuff. That's it, go and have yourself your shower that you need, very good. And we'll start thinking about another excursion. So, expedition into the wasteland. Hi, Jeffrey, and thank you very much. Appreciate the comment, and welcome to the live stream. I'm actually here in real time and can say hi to you. Oh, looks like these two are off to have a conversation, and it's a positive one about music. Actually, that's one of the things that I miss, is the um, jukebox uh, from Sheltered. I know it is in this game, I think, from memory. Is it? No, it might not be, actually. I'm confusing two games. One historical, one relatively new. Okie dokie, right. I think Katya and uh, Alistair are our likely culprits for a visit to the Wasteland. So let's get Alistair to go to the loo. It's about halfway there. And drink water. And open the pantry and eat something. So go and have uh, the spinach soup. Catcher, on the other hand, uh, drink water, uh, get a nap in as well, so go and sleep, and then after you've slept, open up that pantry and have yourself a, yeah, broccoli soup, there we go. Right, you, sir, have three things left to do once you've done that. What have you improved? Shadows increase their scavenging skill, nice. Uh, then we want to plant some seeds. Now, we're in summer. Uh, but the next three days are only 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, but we want something really that sits in the middle. Uh, so rice is a high temperature, 18 to 30. Uh, then we've got 5 to 24 for spinach, which is a bit more reasonable. And cabbage is 12 to 22, so to the lower end. And broccoli can only handle 21. Uh, so we might want to try and do broccoli uh, and see if we can get it in uh, before it uh, gets too hot. And it would be an idea to also see if we can upgrade our um, weather vane as well. So we can get to the third day forecast, which would be a bit better. Okay, so which one did we plant in? I can't actually remember, so let's just speed up time. Get things done. There we go, go and repair the other thing. Okay, well, catch is still asleep anyway. Speed up time again. La 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 la, you annoying moose, deer, thing. Oh, we've got someone coming to the shelter to uh, ask to join the faction. Of course, as always, probably not going to have the skills that warrant us doing it. Okay, second one that we're going to do is we're going to plant seeds, and we could risk rice, 18 to 30. And we are in the summer, so I think we'll go with the rice. Here we go, let's respond and check out Lisa. Okay, 323312. Optimistic. Okay, so, but however weak bladder, toilet need increases 25% faster. Sorry, but no. No thank you, don't want someone like you in our faction, especially with those low stats. Thank you. Off you go, back to the wasteland for death. Ah yes, that's it of course, George. Just sit outside, why not? In you come, sir. And while you're there, go and clean the toilet. And... Fill the food bowl with the cooked human meat, of course. There we go. Confirm. Our chickens still haven't hatched yet, so they're still sitting there in their eggs, waiting to become chickens. Although I'm sure they go through the chick and becoming chicken process before I get the notification, and it happens lightning fast. Okay, set up expedition. We want to use Alistair in the lead position and Catcher in the secondary position. Uh, the only problem is she has no equipment, so let's close that off. And more importantly, let's repair stuff as well, actually. Uh, nope. Close that off. Uh, right, you, sir, let me have a look at your equipment. Let's get rid of that bag, because it's about to bust. 
Actually, no, no, keep it, that's fine, confirm. We'll let it break of its own accord. What we'll actually do is we'll get Catchy to craft a new bag. So, let's get that made. Or we can create uh, a couple of improved stab-proof vests as well. So, there we go. And we could also create a dog whistle. Uh, have we not got that equipped? Uh, we'll confirm those three items. Let's have a look, what's uh, Georgie got? So, George hasn't got a dog whistle either, so it is just... Alistair who has the cat bell so we do need a dog whistle so let's add it to her queue so craft item tier 2 dog whistle and confirm so hopefully careful the car might get a taste for human wipe out the team <laughs> that's uh, I didn't think about that yeah, I didn't think about that there, Nerd of Anarchy. Yes, by con consistently feeding our cat human flesh. Cooked, barbecued human flesh. Yeah, it might actually get a taste for human. Shadow's increased his prey drive as well. Very good. Right, let's set up the expedition. So, Alistair and Katya. Okay, next. So, first of all, we want to go to equipment because Katya doesn't have any. So, bag and the dog whistle and the improved stab vest. One of which is three stars, the other is one. That's fine. Let's go to Alistair. Uh, so, he has two items and now Katya has two items. So, he cannot have armor until we unlock the additional equipment slot. So, do we drop the binoculars and give him armor? Or drop the cat bell. I think we'll drop the cat bell and give him the improved stab proof vest. I think that makes more sense. We get rid of the weapon, of course, because he has much better skills now. Uh, so go to weapon and he can have a knife. So there we go. So we've got a knife for her, uh, for him, and we've got a pistol which needs deck six. Nope. Okay. Have we got any knives left? Yes, we have. Okay, so they're both equipped with knives. We'll take a flashbang with us as well, as a just in case. And now go back to no filter, I meant to click there. There we go. Okay, so they're both fully equipped. That's sorted. Now we need trade goods. So let's put in CI for circuit board. We've got six, we'll take five. That's worth 100. Uh, again, we go with glass because we've got quite a bit now. So glass is worth five. So 10 would be worth 50. So we'll take 10 glass with us. So that's 150 worth of trade goods. That's probably plenty. Uh, can't see us needing more than that. And more importantly, what we were lacking in last time was medical equipment. So we'll take an extra med kit as a just in case, and then we'll take three bandages. So hopefully by going overboard, and we'll take a splint with us as well. That should cover all of the bases. Uh, so next, now we've got 54 rations left, and where do we want to go? Uh, there's plenty of locations we haven't visited yet. Uh, so, how many dogs, cats? Can I th Skay, I think you can have a lot. Um, I, from the trailer when they released this 1.2 update, the trailer had someone with like four dogs in their shelter. So, I think you can have multiples. Uh, right, we never visited there. Ah, the factories. Yes, the factories. Okay, so we're going to go up. That makes no sense. So delete waypoint. We'll go there, there, and there. Because, of course, these places we've all visited. And we will come down along the edge over the water. And then we will go to the reservoir. Uh, these are our friends, so we could go and help them. Yeah, we could do, actually. Is it the new order that's our friends? Otherwise, I'm going to create... I'll tell you what. We'll do the whole route. Uh, we'll add extra rations, and then we'll change it. Did that say workable? Nope, so we don't want to go there. Okay, fine. Delete waypoint. Uh, we will visit the actual reservoir tank itself. Then we'll come down here. Where are we? Ration-wise, we're at 20... Uh, in fact, we've taken 20 and we only need 17. Okay, and then I think we'll head back to the shelter. Okay, might as well search this location again. How long has it been? Oh, two days, pointless. Okay, there we go. So there's our full route, and we're at 20 rations. So we're searching one, two, three, four, five locations, 
and we may go and help these guys. I just can't remember whether the New Order is our friends or not. Hello, Luis. Luis Neto. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us, sir. So I think that'll do. And uh, let's go next and send them on their way. Travel time of 56 hours. Let's add uh, another 10 rations just to be safe. We never know. Might need to uh, have some extras. And off they go. Right, that just leaves George. Uh, so we'll get him to go to the loop. And then we will deal with what he can do while he is here. Uh, first of all, he needs to eat, but let's see if we can also craft anything. Uh, no, of course not. We've got loads of meat, so it would be a good idea to do some cooked meat. So we'll do five. There we go. And confirm. Next thing we need to find, of course, is a rifle so we can build a deer stand so we can kill this thing so it stops making that annoying noise. And how is our cat? Wow, nice. Let so our cat is clearly a killer. Well, as I've already said by looking at him, you know, his picture, he does look a bit demonic. Uh, so prey drive is up to level five. Scavenging is up to level five. And affection is only level two. <laughs> so he's clearly not the most affectionate of cats. Right, after you've cooked, pet the cat. There we go. Just say hi to the kitty. We all like to say hi to the kitty, eh? Right, I need a drink of water because it was 25 degrees Celsius today, which of course means my little office with the door shut is now 485 million degrees Kelvin, and I am melting. Oh, that's better. Of course, dry, talking uh, dries one's throat as well, of course. We've got nothing in our junk pile. Good. I'm actually thinking, is there anything we left at the beginning of the game, but there isn't, is there? No, there's nothing that we forgot to scavenge. Ah, yes, that's what I wanted to check. Faction. Yes, so the New Order is our friend. They are our friends. So we do want to modify our route. Okay, so change route. So we just have to remember, so change route. We want to delete this waypoint here. We'll go here, we'll go down here. Then we'll go to here, and then we'll go home. There we go. Actually uses one less ration. Nice. I know, Skay, the moose pees me off as well, so you're not the only one. That hot you already spawned. Yeah, that's it, mate. Uh, I am a talking... I'm like the phoenix. I've risen from my own ashes, and I'm now a renewed me. Oh, actually, I can hear rain outside. I think it may have, uh, the weather may have turned, which of course means probably a thunderstorm in the not too distant future. So, if I go silent and you hear lots of banging and everything else, I haven't been shot or died, there's a big thunderstorm outside and the power's gone. Let's hope that doesn't happen, eh? Hi, Queen Bee, welcome to the stream, glad to have you. And very quick question, Queen Bee. I found uh, someone with a YouTube channel called Queen Bee. Uh, I presume it's... Uh, is it you or is it not? And do you have two accounts? You have to answer the question now. Because you've dropped into the super chat. Okay, there's not really a lot for George to do. Uh, the next thing, of course, we wanted to do was work on the door down to the next level. So for that, we need some cement. Luckily, we've got enough resources to make one bag. So we'll get one bag made. And we'll get the stairs put in place. Don't know if there's going to be cows, sheep, and goats in the future. Ah, okay, Queen Bee, no worries. Um, however, Mr. Prepper will do. Um, Skay. So Mr. Prepper is going to get a farmyard update. Uh, so I'll bring that to the channel when the update comes out. But I shall wait until then. A couple of people commented about more Mr. Prepper content, but for now, no. Oh, um, mental note, I am the top creator on YouTube now for Sheltered 2. I'm also the top creator on YouTube for um, Fallout Shelter as well interesting. I've got vidIQ now so I can do analytics on my channel 
um, extra analytics over and above YouTube. And YouTube itself has released the ability now to search um, like trending search terms and everything else. Uh, so I've discovered that I'm now the top creator for Shelter 2 and Fallout Shelter, which is pretty cool. Shame I haven't got the hundreds of thousands of views to uh, back it up though. That would be nice. Right, George, you need two things. You need food, because I never got you to eat after you cooked, which is a bit horrible of me. So go and have some food, and then go and have yourself a shower. Ah, one of our chickens has hatched. Lovely stuff. It's too dark to see it, because it'll be asleep at the moment. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. And of course, we'll get eggs. Lovely stuff, because what that means is once we've got eggs and potatoes, we can uh, make um, gammon egg and chips. Or omelettes, of course. Okay, there was just a crash somewhere in my house, so I'm going to go and check what it is. I shall be back momentarily. That was slightly worrying, but nothing is a problem, thank goodness. It was just uh, one of the kids' scooters falling over in one of the rooms, which of course made a loud crash-bang sound and made me think someone had broken into the house. Nice. Okay, let's get back to it. So, so far we've got one chicken, which is good. Uh, we've got the stairs to construct as well, so let's get that done. So, stairs... And we'll plop that in there. I don't know whether I'm going to... I think I will put the second set of stairs in the middle of this floor. As I discussed on one of the previous streams. Want a horse and people to guard outposts. Yeah, they're having horses and people guarding outposts. Two great things. Uh, horses obviously were in sheltered. And uh, guarding uh, outposts would make sense. Yeah, the outposts are a bit poop in this, I, I agree with you. But they will be improved, that I do know. Um, I just know how the game is going and how the releases are and everything else and the patches. Um, we will see content like that in the future, I'm certain of it. Right, we've encountered members of a faction and it's Los Muertos. Don't think we've met them before. No, nope. have you wandered into our territory? It doesn't matter, I suggest you turn around and go back the way you came. Who are you? Blah, 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 blah. Work together. Blah, 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 blah. Walk. Bye-bye. Easy first encounter. It's nice when it's like that. If we meet them again, it might not be quite so pleasant. Okay, come on, Georgie. In fact, might as well speed up time, because they haven't even got to the first location yet. Oh, they've had another encounter. What did I say? We'd encounter them again, wouldn't we? Oh no, this time the Black Roses. Okay, everyone wants to say hi today. Uh, there's only two of them. They've both got... Uh, are they knives or are they rocks? Can't quite tell. And it's another one that we haven't met. Okay, fantastic. Who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Work together. Blah, blah, blah. Walk. I forgot. This is season three. So we haven't met half of the factions yet. There we go. That was a double lucky day. Good stuff. Uh, that's not an elevator, Skay. That is a staircase. <laughs> it's a staircase, not an elevator. That's why it doesn't use any power. It's concrete stairs. Okay, let's get you to go to sleep. You need it. And, of course, speed up time. So we actually search a location. Ooh, wow. Shadows returned with lots of good stuff, including more human flesh. Right, might as well recycle, seeing as um, he's brought back a few items that are recyclable. So the wooden toys, the burnt clothes, and the mineral ore. There we go. And we could get rid of five of these, and break down five of these. There we go. 
Confirm. Lovely stuff. Oh, surviving the aftermath. Okay, Queen Bee, thank you for the for the uh, mention. I will scribble that down now. Uh, surviving the aftermath. Surviving the aftermath. Because I've noticed my uh, the main. Um, views that I get on my content, like the first episodes of my Perfect Start series, and then you get a successively lower view number of views on the successive episodes. So I do need to do more games, that I'm well aware of. The thing is, I really enjoy this game, and I really enjoy Frostpunk. Uh, although Frostpunk's doing quite well for the live stream, so... Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got a three-star circuit board, nice. Two three-star sensors, loads of three-star valves, some pistons, more pistons, some cogs, some wood, some more wood, some hinges, some hinges, and more importantly, some cement, and some fuses, and some plastic. And, in fact, we'll just take everything. I could have done that from the beginning, really, couldn't I? Right, let's go on to the next location. Oh, there's actually another factory there. No blueprint, though, of course. Uh, I'd love to change route, but... Can I be bothered? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Delete waypoint. Search, search, search. There we go. And then come to here, come down to here, come across here. Go to there, go to there. Maybe skip that one now. Nah, we can still go there, that's fine. And go home. There we go. Okay. And that's why you always bring extra rations on a trip, because you never know when you're going to want to change your location, journey, and everything else. Um, yeah, Queen Bee, it's one of the things I was talking about actually at the beginning of the uh, stream. It's, uh, I, what I want to do is, you'll see the vidIQ, uh, sorry, not vidIQ, XSplit logo at the bottom of the screen, uh, because I still use the free version. If I use the paid for version, I can dual stream. So I can stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I do have a Twitch channel, I just never use it. Um, so I would need to get... Oh, cool. Cool, our chickens are both hatched now. Oh, and we've got eggs already as well. So Bertha and Glenda, they're both around. Their moods are currently neutral. How a chicken has a mood, I don't know. Uh, what options do we have now? Slaughter? Okie dokie then. So we can get eggs and we can kill them. We've got a 3.3 kilo chicken and a 2.8 kilo chicken. I wonder how much meat you get from them. <laughs> cigar, cigar, that would be a good idea. Yes, if uh, you're that hungry that you're going to die, yes, I would suggest maybe making yourself some food. Uh, that's always a good idea. I'm terrible for that. Going through the whole day having just coffee and nothing else. And then getting to the evening and going, Oh my goodness, I should really actually eat something. Uh, the funny thing is, does that mean that I'm uh, underweight? No. Am I still slightly overweight? Yes. The logic is not sound. The logic is broken. But then I'm six foot four in height, so the fact that I'm only a couple of kilos uh, into the overweight by BMI, to be honest, it's not really noticeable because I'm six foot four, so I'm not that fussed about it. Why is the cat complaining? Go and stroke the cat. Oh, it's now using its scratching post. Good, because that means it's not destroying furniture. I'll wait for it to finish. There we go. Now go and say hello. <laughs> Chickens do have moods. Okay, fair enough, Queen Bee. I shall not argue that. Surviving the aftermath is doomed, as devs made it, so you'll have disaster after disaster. Never normal game. Your people have to be miserable and die often. Oh, wow. That sounds like an interesting game. Well, I'll still have a look at it anyway, um, whether I get it or not, because uh, there's a load of... Oh, we found a truck. We found a truck. Okay, right. Well, we'll take all this stuff. Not the truck, of course, it's too heavy. But, there is a truck. 
Okay, so mental note, in that factory there is an abandoned truck. Still no freaking blueprints though. I mean, come on. I mean, map-wise, we've now searched quite a large area. I mean, you know, there's not... Okie dokie. That's the uh, trader one, and I'm not sure... Oh, okay. So he's moved locations. So that tile really shouldn't be uncovered. But okie dokie, I'm not going to complain. I know there's a scrapyard there. But we have probably uncovered, I don't know, 30% of the map, I'd guess. And we've searched pretty much all the locations on it. And still, no flicking blueprints. Uh, hopefully not skate in relation to the car tyre duration because they've changed um, and nerfed a lot of the stuff. Oh crap, go water the plants. Water the plants quickly, they're probably already dying. 79% health. Run George, run! Seventy-five percent health and... Whoa! Thirty percent health! What? How long was it dry for? Six years? Health shouldn't have been that low, surely. It's only grown 5% as well. Okie dokie. Right, well, that is what it is. Uh, George, go and get yourself another meal. Go and have yourself a broccoli soup. We've got some more broccoli growing, so that's fine. 300 people with heated houses. Oh, okay, so this aftermath, surviving the aftermath. Oh, I think it might be on my wish list already on Steam. This is, it's a city builder, isn't it? The advantage of the greenhouse cigar is you get way more um, plants when it comes to harvesting. So let's just view these items first. Uh, while this is screen is loaded, oh, we found another tire. Fantastic. Uh, so in the like the wooden planter, you can get probably a maximum of about eight of any given vegetable. So whether it's broccoli, spinach, whatever. Uh, the the tier two, the greenhouse, you can get more than ten. Uh, and then, of course, when you upgrade to the full greenhouse, you can get up to 20. And the interior planter, where you can plant potatoes, so the enhanced planter, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, that will get you 20 potatoes growing inside the shelter. And, of course, you can also grow tomatoes and mushrooms. So, yeah, that's it. Yep. I now know what surviving the aftermath is, and it is on my wish list. And I read a couple of different things about it where there were issues with the game. I think that was the reason I didn't purchase it in the end. Because uh, obviously, a lot of the games I still buy, you know, like you guys, I still pay for them. I don't get everything for free. So I do decide where and when I'm going to spend my money on games. I almost confirmed the location there without taking anything. That would have been a little bit of a fail. Okay, we'll take the fuel, we'll take... Oh, an alternator as well. Lovely stuff. The only problem is that puts our weight at nearly maximum. Tell you what, we'll leave the tyre behind. Is that alternator, like, super heavy as well? Yeah, it is. 15. Okay, so we'll leave the car parts behind. So we've still got some capacity. What else is heavy? There's something else in here that is heavy. Pistons only weigh two. Well, I know it's the the petrol can, but how much do rocks weigh? Three, so that's only nine. Ah, we've got three bags of cement as well, haven't we? Okay, get rid of a bag of cement. There we go. So we'll leave a tyre, an alternator, and cement. It's near the truck anyway. The parts aren't going to disappear anywhere, so that's fine. And we've got another factory to search, but still no blueprints, of course. Hey, why would there be? Oh, it's because I want them. Six dollars. Wow, that's not bad. Uh, I can tell you. Uh, let me have a quick look. Uh, I'm going to have to pause the game, of course, because I need to move out and go into Steam. Uh, so go to Wishlist and just type in SUR. 
Surviving the aftermath is £26.99, so about $40. So yeah, at the moment it's about $40. <laughs> yeah all right queen bee uh maybe if it goes on sale again i'll get it uh generation zero is currently 72 percent off end zone a world apart that's 67 percent off at the moment so to give you guys an idea i've actually never done this before but why don't i tell you what's on my wish list so starting from the top let's uh delete the uh filter so, Sirius Sam 4, Squad, Versus Squad, Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, Man Eater, They Are Billions, Prehistoric Kingdom, Surviving the Aftermath, Foundation, Zombie Army 4, Dead War, Evil Genius 2, World Domination, Generation Zero, Red Solstice 2, Survivors, Hotel Magnate, Factory Town, Spellcaster University, Frigid, which of course uh, I've done the uh, video on, uh, Back for Blood, Age of Empires 3, End Zone A World Apart, Paradise Lost, uh, Marvel's Avengers, don't say anything, it's just there on my wish list, Going Medieval, Subverse, Islanders, Timberborn, Hell Architect, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, uh, The Sumerians, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Teardown, Worms Rumble, Breakwaters, The Sims 4, Star Wars Squadrons, Jurassic World Evo 2, uh, Days Gone, uh, Last Stand Aftermath, Diplomacy's Not an Option, War on the Sea, Planet Crafter, oh my goodness, how many have I actually got on here? Uh, that's irrelevant. Townscaper, Kingdoms Reborn, Big Ambitions, Night of the Dead, Trader Life Simulator, Into the Haze, Escape Simulator, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Which I can play now, actually, I've already got it. Uh, Dwarf Romantic, Snow Runner, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. That I think I might buy anyway, just purely because you can have millions of units on the screen slugging it out with each other. It just looks really cool. Uh, Settlement Survival, uh, Blight, loads. I mean, I think there's probably another 30, 40 uh, titles that I could keep reading through, but as you can see, I have a lot of games yet to buy and yet to add on my YouTube channel. And it's getting the time to do it when you have a full-time job, and this is really a second job in the evenings. Uh, I mean, my wife's been away in our property in another country for the last eight days, so it has given me more time, which is why I'm releasing some episodes. And, uh, yeah. So we are where we are. Oh, we've had a pet encounter. Alert, alert, we've had a pet encounter. Okay, what do we reckon it's going to be? Is it going to be a dog? Or is it going to be a cat? Odds are... Yeah, zombie games are cool as well, Cigar. Let's uh, have a look at what pet we've encountered. Okay, in a factory. Investigate a friendly animal. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I can hear flies. You've stumbled upon a dog. From its behaviour, it seems to be very cautious towards you. Misty. Okay. Try to calm. Stay still. Okay. 60% chance of success. Trust change. Five. It worked. They seem to be curious about us. Okay. Throw scrap. 65% chance. Okay, but for recruit, you need three. They didn't like that. They're looking pretty cautious. Minus five. Fantastic. Stay still. That had no effect. Still behaving cautiously. And we can't recruit, so do stay still one more time. It worked. They seem to be curious about us. Okay. Dog's gone away with the weird fly sounds going in the background. Right, okay, so we need to do two things. We need to change the route, and we need to delete the waypoint. We need to do the search again. So search, and then we need to, I don't know, walk, oh, there's a petrol station. Well, we'll go and visit it. Uh, hopefully we'll encounter the dog again. Uh, we'll still go and help our brethren over there. We'll skip visiting there, but what I want to do first, actually, is delete the waypoint, 
just go all the way around these tiles and then back down again okay now to help our brethren here and then back to the shelter we did search there as well didn't we which we're gonna have to skip now but that's fine okay there we go okay confirm so hopefully we will uncover the dog again and we'll get the pet encounter again because someone mentioned that it can happen so yeah no completely agree uh, nerd of anarchy yes I will do so once he once they've moved uh, searched this location and moved on one tile I'm going to change the route again to get them to go back through the factory again because clearly the dog will still be in the factory I presume if that is that what you're saying the dog will still be in the factory because that's my guess as well oh shadows increased his affection finally well you're going to get a dog coming into the shelter soon shadow so get ready to deal with it okay speed up time there we go search the location i heard the rabbit's neck breaking Right, view the items, what have we got? A circuit board, a transistor, intermediate logic, whoop whoop. Bike frame, so again, we're finding stuff, just not the stuff that we actually freaking want. Okay, the reason I'm leaving those behind is because I know they weigh, mm, they're not that heavy. Okay, there we go. And there is another cement, but we'll leave it behind, because uh, obviously, you know, because I said so, basically. Right, okay, confirm. We need them to come out, so to here. So, let's speed up time a little bit, allow an hour to go by, and they should have moved on. There we go. They're still in the same tile? Really? Hey, there we go. Right, change route. And then down to the petrol station, then over to help our chums. We've uh, visited the mine, and we don't want to spend the extra resources, and we've got no weight capacity anyway. Add an extra ration. There we go. Confirm. And close. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. I, I do I do tend to remember gaming tips, Nerd of Anarchy, um, to be honest. Stupid animals should be... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I read that one uh, and talked about it. Uh, let's on the stream. Boys. Good host. Thank you, Cigar. Very much appreciated. Uh, let's come on. Encounter the doggy. Come on. Doggy, 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 doggy. No. Have you gone through yet? Yes, you have. Okay, change route. Jeez. Your route is already complete. Uh, yeah, I wasn't trying to do that. Right, okay. I should really stop doing the rest of the route. There we go. Now we're using 12 rations. Okay, we've only got 7 spare. Confirm. And close. Come on. Doggy, doggy. The only problem is the trust is only like 5. So, I think it's going to take quite a while to build up the trust with the animal. Right, where are your stats at? Ah, uh, five and six. Okay, cool. Right, go and sleep, sir. No, don't sleep. Don't sleep, cancel. No! Ah, uh, donuts. And the other one is dry and at 19 health. I'm going to have to cancel your sleep, dude. Sorry. And you're going to be peeved. I'm sorry. I don't care. You're only a little bit sad. That's fine. Go and water the plant. So that one's not dry. Is it that one that's dry? No, that's moist as well and can be harvested. So go and harvest. What are you... You, you kidding me? Get up, you dumbass. Uh, do you get a double mood negative dingleberry? No. Oh, it hates dirty surroundings, of course. Okay, so then sleep. I've double sleeped you now. And then when you wake up, you need to clean. 
There we go. Okay, speed up time. And no, they have done nothing. Oh wow, we somehow miraculously insta-spawned some new items though. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, well, we'll take the springs, we'll take the lens, we'll take the circuit boards, we'll take the wood, we'll take the hinge, uh, that'll do. Confirm. So, still no doggy though. I think we'll have to leave it for now, let them carry on, otherwise we're going to run out of rations. And besides, I would like them to actually get back to the shelter before the end of the stream. And here we go. This to the answer to the question of why the greenhouse, this is your answer. I've got 10 broccoli out of the uh, greenhouse and seeds. So we can replant again as well. And why is that still saying it needs watering? It's now soaked. It's not 15 degrees Celsius either. And it's now going to die. Okay, that greenhouse is officially shafted and does not work. Clearly this spot of land is demonic and possessed. That was just weird. My in real life name, Cigar, is Alistair. It's a Scottish name, I'm uh, three quarters Scottish by blood and my clan is Brodie and our castle is just outside of Inverness. It's not owned by the clan anymore, of course, and apart from that, I would have been about 400,000th in line for the castle anyway. Um, but it's owned by the Scottish National Trust. So I, and it's the proper Scottish spelling of Alistair as well, so it's um, with a T-A-I-R at the end, rather than the, some very bizarre spellings of the name that you get around the world. Seeing as it is a true Scottish name, well, Gaelic name, if I'm being more accurate in my description. I can't speak Gaelic, so don't ask. And apart from that, it's a dying language, and in fact, uh, I think only about 50% of the language is still known. A lot of the words are now unknown. Yeah, that's one of the abhorrent spellings of it. It should be A-L-I-S-T-A-I-R is the correct Scottish spelling of it. Although, don't get me wrong, in Scotland they use bad spelling of the word as well. Although I would say that, because that's how my name is spelt, of course. So all other Alistairs are inferior by default. Unless there's anyone currently tuned in with the same name as me, then of course you're not inferior. <laughs> okay, we've got a rabbit to hunt as well, but of course he's asleep, so we might as well speed up the Timmy time. And we have got more rain incoming, and it is normal rain as well. That would normally mean bu buying more water filters, uh, building more water storage even, but uh, we don't need to. Right, we've searched the petrol station. How much petrol is there? Oh, we've got another disc. <gasps> we've got a rifle. Oh, yeah. And we've got a drill, which I don't think we had. No, nope, we didn't. And another intermediate logic book. Nice. Mm, some two-star water. We'll take it. A bullet a silver nugget, a can of food, and now we're pretty much at maximum weight. Uh, the rebar I'm intending to reprocess uh, in the recycler, so we'll keep it. Uh, we've got two cement that we want to keep. We want to keep pretty much everything that we've got. Uh, we could leave the one star weight uh, drill behind. We still can't take any sand. What does sand weigh? 12. Hmm. How much fuel do we have left in the shelter? Six. Okay, so no, I will take it with me. Okay, we're going to have to do a go with that, that's fine, just confirm. Well, we might as well take the drill away. There we go, confirm. Uh, I think we'll skip our little conversation with uh, our friends, because I've just realised that it's probably being attacked by three people. There's only two of us and we've only got knives. So that's probably not the best idea. So let's change route, delete waypoint, and head back to the shelter. 
going back through the factory again, I think. So let's try it once more. Uh, nope. Travel through. And then back to the shelter. There we go. Confirm. And close. Right, of course now he's going to have to work for three hours to uh, clean the shelter. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Although, um, on saying that, it's because uh, I'm looking after our son as well. And no, oh, don't get me wrong, I miss her. Of course I do. It's uh, The worst was actually before our son was five. Uh, my son went with her as well, but he can't now because of school. And that is the worst. You have like two days of freedom. And then it's like, oh, I'm now in this big house by myself with no one. Blah, blah, blah. It's not great. It's not. Oh, we've had an encounter. Right, hold on. Let me line up all of your activities. So, toilet, shower, drink. And did he finish cleaning the shelter? Oh, he did. Awesome. Okay, let's deal with the encounter. Members of the faction. Awesome. Los Muertos. We're going to have to try and flee. There are three of them. What do we need? Nothing. Flee. Escape successful. Thank goodness, because there's three of them. Two of us. Okay, magic. Cat's deciding to leg it. Run, shadow, run. Oh, actually, chickens. 40% feed. We've still got two, and we've got two eggs as well. So, let's get George to collect the eggs. Uh, okay, small pantry too. Okay, you don't actually need to physically go and get them, you just need to click them, and they're transferred. Well, that's nice and easy. Okay, and we've got a trader as well. Oh, we've got a potato. Lovely. We've got a potato. We can make a gammon egg and chips. Right, we'll take the two uh, glass jars. Uh, no honey, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, don't need any of the rest of that, basically. Uh, we could take the mineral ore, although I do think we've got quite a lot of silicon and stuff now. Let's just have a look. Uh, yeah, we've got 30 silicon, and we've also got 9 magnesium, so... How much are they? 12. Yeah, now we can do it, it's fine. Okay, and we've got loads of these, so might as well use some of these. There we go, and I'll change that to GL for glass. There we go, pop in another one. 55, 94% chance of a deal. Lovely stuff, trader agreed. Clear the notification, and we've got some more stuff. More importantly, craft item, tier two. Oh look, we can make gammon egg and chips, which is 65% sustenance, or the meat stew is 70. So let's make gammon egg and chips. Oh, I think also we can probably do a fried egg. Oh, no, it used two eggs, didn't it? Yeah, it was a two egg, a two egg gammon egg and chips. Actually, if you're having a restaurant, you always have to have at least two fried eggs. Right, fortitude. Let's upgrade you to maximum dazed protection. Purchase upgrade and strength. Oh dear. Okay, maximum backpack. There we go. That's unlocked here too. Lovely stuff. And I'm sure the fan is about to fall apart. Yes, it is. Anything else about to fall apart? No, not really, but the punching bag needs to be repaired. Uh, as does the recycler. And we might as well collect the items. Take all. Confirm. Lovely stuff. Mm, yep, we'll give it a repair anyway. And how is everything doing outside? Actually, go and clean the table as well. And, oh dear. Shocking. Repair. 36 health. Really? I thought we repaired it quite recently. Clearly not. Okie dokie. Speed up time. George has fixed the pedestal fan. Lovely stuff. Off you go, dear fellow. Do your chores while the guys are going on their route, which they clearly didn't come across another dog. So that was four Passovers and we still didn't encounter the dog. getting a little bit mythical. Oh my goodness, our cat has brought back more human flesh. Yep, Shadow is definitely getting a taste for humans. 
is clearly murdering people while out on his little excursions. Oh, and we've had an encounter with members of the faction, our friends. Very good. Trade, 81% chance. Yes, what have you got? Hmm. Carrots, which we've got none. Uh, all potato seeds, which we've got none. We do want potato seeds. Uh, rope, we've got 10. That's fine, we don't need rope. Uh, we don't really need anything else from there. That weighs 0.1, which we can take easily. Uh, okay, broccoli, we've got 9. Pea plants, we've got none, so we might as well take the peas. And we'll go with the rice and the rice. And then we're going to have to deconstruct that greenhouse again and build one somewhere else. Okay, what are we going to trade for 45? Well, that's what our circuit boards are for. So let's get rid of two of those and trade. Trader agreed. Fantastic. Charisma boost. Lovely stuff. And a little boost to faction respect as well. Cool. Okay, speed up the timmy time. Oh yeah, cat bowl, that's what I forgot. 50% full, good. Toilet, 10% full. Lovely. I wonder if you let the uh, cat toilet get full, if it just starts dumping around your shelter. I'm not going to find that out, by the way, because I like clean, keeping the cat, cat toilet clean. I do have a cat myself, so, you know, keeping their litter box nice and clean is uh, nice for the cat. Right, they've had an encounter just outside that's going to be one of these fake little traders, isn't it? Oh no, it's a sad person. Okay. Don't care that you're armed. We're going to flee. If it fails, we'll kill you. And it's failed. Oh dear, what a pity for you. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, 23 and bleeding. Nice. Oh, and dazed. Lovely. Shouldn't have tried to attack us, boy -o. Now you're subdued. And you have nothing of value. Of so and uh, there we go. Wow, we actually got some free stuff. Can't take the pipe, but it's a one star, so we don't care. <laughs> Carry on. And continue. And continue. <laughs> I looked over at the super chat and I was like, I guarantee you, Queen Bee has put, yay, murder. <laughs> And they were literally just outside the shelter when it happened. So the body, the smell of the uh, rot and decay could probably be smelt from our little outdoor garden area. Actually, what somebody else was saying about it not being in the desert would be quite cool. Because on the map, you start in this little desert area, but you have the grassy areas. And then we haven't uncovered any yet, but there is snow as well. So having your shelter in a place that isn't just desert uh, would actually be quite cool. I think, anyway. I, I get the reasoning behind it. An abandoned uh, shelter is more likely to be in the middle of a desert than somewhere nice. But, you know, still. Oh, backpack's broken. What a shame. Take all items. We're at 1,208 out of 1,400. We're going to have to build some new storage soon. Oh, they're having an argument as soon as getting back. That's helpful. Right, take a shower with soap. And have a drink of water. Is that rain outside? No, it's a dust storm. Okay, you sir, go and have a drink of water from over here. Now once Catch has had her shower, you can have one as well. Let's get the recycling done, might as well, with all the stuff that we brought back. Okie dokie. Right. So, two glass jars, one frying pan, one yoga ball, one broken wooden toys. Two mineral rocks. Mm, don't want to recycle any of that stuff. Okie dokie. And was that everything? Was that everything? Oh, I think it was. And where's the rebar? Did we drop it? No, we didn't. There we go. So the rebar will give you four two-star plates of metal worth six each. Total value, 24. That's value, 25. So it's about the same. And also, you need strength 14 to use it. So, pointless. Might as well recycle it for metal. Okay, recycle vu Yep, I know you need sleep, but you also need a shower. I'm not quite sure how close catcher is to being done. And already, it's three hours of cleaning again. 
the cleaning mechanic on this is just broken. Absolutely broken. Right, go and have yourself a big meal, because that will give you lots of sustenance. Right, you are going to, what, walk to where I told you to, yes. Okay, now go and take a shower. You're going to sleep, yep, that's fine. And then after you're done, go to sleep as well. Yep, George, you get yourself eat, s eat, s right, what are your stats? Intelligence 2, Perception 1, oh my goodness gracious me, read a perception book, jeez. Oh, rain in a heat, in a heat wave is so lovely. I remember when uh, me and my best friend were travelling around the world, um, we were in North, no, not North Thailand, was it Cambodia? No, it was Thailand. It was on one of the islands, um, Koh Lanta, I think. It was like 45 degrees uh, Celsius. The um, electricity on the island had gone as well, so you couldn't even get cold drinks. This isn't when we had rain. When we got back to the mainland, though, we did have like a massive rainstorm, which was lovely, but that was unbearable because you. you with no electricity, of course, there's no ice, so it was just like lukewarm drinks, hiding under a gazebo all day in the shade, jumping in the sea just to cool off, but of course the sea was like bath water. Right, let's speed up time, let's get his uh, stats upgraded, in fact he might as well keep reading a couple of times to be honest. Right, perception upgraded, lovely stuff, let's spend the point, let's get you to read books even faster. There we go. Might as well. Get rid of the notifications. And more importantly, upgrade the next for the forecast. We just need two more lenses. Awesome. Okay, so Katya, when you wake up, craft me two lenses. In fact, just make loads. There we go. Confirm. Because lenses are worth more than glass. I keep, uh, Queen Bee always used to remind me in season one, and I kept forgetting to make lenses, so this time I'm going to remember to do it. Because the trade value of a lens is much better than the trade value of glass. It is indeed, uh, Cigar, it is indeed. We're not built for heat, that's for sure. Although when you're on holiday and travelling and that kind of stuff, it is very different. Um, it's when it's uh, 25, 25 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius here in the UK, when you have to go at work your day job and everything else, that's when it's bad. In fact, that's when I may go back into the office for the aircon. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I've got aircon here, so yeah. If I need to cool the place down, I'll just bring the aircon unit in here and uh, bring the temperature down. Why go into the office? It's an unnecessary requirement. Right, you're making all the lenses. Very good. The dust storm is still carrying on. And I'm tempted to recruit this person regardless. Right, Laura, what are positive trait? Deep sleeper. Tiredness stat decreases 25% faster when sleeping. What? Oh, okay, so they when they go to bed, they recover their uh, sleep energy much quicker. Decreases the amount of conversations had in a day because she's antisocial. But one, three, two, three, two, one. <sighs> what do you reckon, guys? I'm going to give you the. I'm going to give you guys the choice. Do we want to recruit Laura, the deep sleeping antisocial lady with strength one and fortitude one? Why in the super chat for yes? N for no, and I will give you, I'm delaying, I'm delaying, I'm going to give you 10 seconds, starting from now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, <laughs> I'll take that as a no then, shall I? 
All right, my usual response, definitely no. Go back out to the dust storm and die of radiation poisoning, Laura. Bye-bye. Oh, unspent skill points in dexterity and charisma. All right, let's improve your ranged weapon training. And your charisma, let's improve your... Bedside manner, maybe? No, nope. marching songs. Let's speed up the party. There we go. Close. You haven't got any skill points to spend. You haven't either, but you need sleep, so just go to sleep. I'm guessing for some reason it's cold. Nope. But he's got breath. Co Look, either that or he's smoking. It's 20 degrees, and he's got. <laughs> and you can see his breath. It's 20 degrees Celsius. Say what? Oh my goodness, 37 degrees tomorrow. Holy moly, we need some fans. And for that, we need some cogs. Okie dokie, let's build six. Confirm. And we need to build a wall divider as well to separate this off. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to cool down this amount of space. And we also need to build a room extension as well. So craft object, room extension, boom. Okay, craft object, tier two, fan, and boom. That's the top floor dealt with. Oh, we've got our end of week report, that thing that we do not care about. Okay, right, so once this is constructed, we'll move some stuff, we'll put in a partition wall. We'll move everything around so that we make the bedroom comfortable. Yeah, fortitude is very difficult to increase. Um, although, as long as you're slugging it out on the exercise machines, you do slowly build it up. I mean, as you saw in Seasons 1 and 2, Queen Bee, we did get there in the end with most of our characters. But it does take an inordinate amount of time. Right, okay. Uh, process floppy disks, lovely. Another leadership trait point, we've only got the one. Close that off and rearrange shelter. Okay, so first things first, water. We'll get these barrels down to the basement. Right, okay, we're not going to be able to move the bed at the moment because someone's asleep in it, but that's fine. Right, what we want to do is we want to move that and that. We want to move this over. We want to move this over. And what we want to do... No, that's not going to work. Uh, can we move this slightly further? Can we move this slightly further? Can we move this slightly further? No, that's not going to work. We need to put the divider in here. So it's... Uh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Yep, we need to put the divider in here for the beds. Uh, so for now, we can't do it. That's fine. Because I need to be able to move the beds, which I can't do at the moment. So just confirm that for now. We need to wait for him to wake up. Let's speed up time. There we go. Okay, again, rearrange shelter. So we want to bring this over. I know it can't go there. We're going to just drag this over here for now. Then put the bed... Okay, move the bookshelf, move that, there we go, the bed, how far over can we move it? We can move it to there, get that out of the way, bookshelf in the middle, as close as it will go, then we want the medical cabinets, so one and two, then we want the second bed, that goes there, now we need to move the water barrels, move the recycler, move the storage, move that to there. No, to there. I don't want to move that. I want to move this. There we go. Oh, come on. Really? Well, we've got loads of extra space over here as well, so slide this stuff over, and just move these over here. Slide this further over. Slide this further over. And there we go. Where's the limit on that? Keep going. Keep going. There. Okay. So then we've got space for something else there, if we need it. Uh, in fact, we could probably move... Oh, no, no, what we can do is we can move the box, maybe. No, of course not. That box is such a massive floor print, it's insane. 
Okay, there we go. That's everything moved anyway. Confirm. Now, we want... It doesn't matter who, so we'll get George to do it. Craft object. We want a dividing wall. There we go. We can. Perfect. And we want Katia to build another fan. So, tier two and another fan. Get that put in here. I know it fits, so don't lie to me. Seriously? You're not going to let me? Really? Okay, well, we haven't got a fan here yet, so we'll put it there for now. You should be able to put a bookshelf, two beds, and everything else should be able to fit in here, so... I must have literally... Oh my goodness, now I'm not going to be able to put this back where it was. Seriously? Okay, so that is literally as close as it can go. Uh, come on. There we go. Right. Can I move this now? No, I have to wait for it to be constructed. Okay, fan. Adjust thermostat and just, re yep, three degrees is fine because it won't cool it down that much. Oh, it shouldn't do. Uh, let's bring the temperature back up again. Oh, wow, these rooms are getting very, very hot. No, this is actually at seven degrees. Really? Right, okay, adjust thermostat to 10, 15 degrees. Okay, there we go. Now the temperature is going up. Okay, yep, heat exhaustion. That's not a surprise. Okay, there we go. That should bring the temperature down. Hopefully. Yep. So, oh, and we've got more human flesh. All right, cat, stop bringing back human flesh. Seriously. All right, craft item. Jeez. Got six human flesh to cook. Blech. Right, you're the faction leader, you go and do it. Alright, 24 we're down to, so the temperature is coming down. Uh, we do need to build a fan in here as well. I don't know whether we can actually build an extra one now. Uh, craft object, tier 2. Uh, nope, we need 4 cogs. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And go. Okie dokie. Whew. I'll tell you what, I actually feel as hot as they do. Right. The relentless heat of the summer heat. Lower in May. Oh, workbench mastery. Nice. All items crafted. The workbench have a 20% increased chance of being excellent quality. Lovely. Okay, Katya, I want you to craft me another object. Primarily, another fan. And, yeah, see, it fits now. Boom. I knew it would. What's the integrity of this one? 34. Actually, the next thing we need to get her to do is read an intelligence book. So, we need to start leveling up her intelligence. All right, speed up time. Katya has heat exhaustion. Yep, of course she does. Why does the wind turbine not have power? Oh, sorry, the weather vane. Why does the weather vane not have power? Ah, because of all the extra fans we're running. And of course the fact that we still haven't found a battery blueprint. So now like everything's running out of power. Uh, right, which means we need to disable basically everything. Okay, open a fuse box. Uh, what have we still got turned on that we can turn off? Uh, Okie dokie, so the pedal board, the stool fans. Okay, so... Mm. Well, we're going to have to turn off one of them, so let's just get George to disable this one. Okay, there we go. That's it. Power's back on again. Okay. So we're going to have to build a wind turbine. We've got no choice. Okay, catch has leveled up her intelligence. That's good. Let's uh, get another point spent and get it spent on... Focused. Uh, party has a 20% increased chance to escape from combat. Yep, let's give her that one. Close. Right, and now what we need to do is adjust the thermostat on this one to 20 degrees so it stays comfortable. 
Yep, and it will come down. And we need to build a wind turbine. So, yep, we still haven't got the battery bank blueprint, which is an absolute pain in the ass, but this will provide us with the extra electricity. So, in fact, how many can we build? Just one, because we haven't got enough wood to build another one. That's fine. We only got three from that, so take all. Confirm. And recycle. Do we have anything to recycle? Anything, anything at all? Yes, wooden toys, fantastic, because we're running out of wood. Oh, interesting, you get nylon from wooden toys now as well. That's been changed. And we can get rid of the bat as well, that'll give us another three wood, so that's six. Recycle. Okay, need to do the food bowl for the cat as well. Might as well get Alistair to do it after he's done that. So fill food bowl. There we go, with two more human meat. Confirm. George has taken it upon himself to stand in the freezer. <laughs> Why is it 18 degrees Celsius? Because it's plus seven, really? Okay, this we're gonna to have to whack this down to minus ten. No, it's still higher than it is, right? So our food's all gonna start rotting. Forty-four percent a day. Ah, uh -huh. can't even build tier three yet. Okay, seriously. All right, recycling machine. Uh, let's. Makeshift recycler, turn it off. There we go. So our generator is now struggling like crazy. Right, add fuel. Okay, turbine's up and running. Ah, oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. I never had that before for the freezer. Maybe we should swap these rooms round. I mean, the temperature is going down now. But, at the same time, not great. Not great at all. I mean, the temperature's going to come down significantly tomorrow. And, actually, George, he's going for a conversation. Okay. Okay, I'm saying that the management of this game is slightly more intense now. Okay, this room should be a nice, healthy 20 degrees. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Go and sleep. Uh, no, actually, go to the toilet first. Then sleep. Well, repair, then sleep. Okay, right. Is this... Yep, temperature's starting to come down. Good. What's the decay rate now? 32%. Yep, so all of these meals are getting uh, a little bit rottenized. However, notice that the uh, gammon egg and chips is made of rubber. <laughs> and it's not degrading, apparently. Output minus 7.5. Okay, and the temperature is minus 6. So I'm wondering if it makes no difference what I set this to. So let's leave it at minus two. And now have a look. Yeah, so it doesn't change. So we'll leave the room temperature at minus two. Okie dokie. Right. What we should also be able to do is, now that the uh, fan is running, so the wind turbine, we should hopefully be able to turn on the other fan. So let's go to the fuse box and turn on the other pedestal fan. So there it is there. Okay, and close. The not finding the battery bank blueprint is actually really annoying me. Because without the battery bank, it does make it very, very hard. Uh, right, Katia, once you've woken up, let's uh, see if we've got enough wood for another one. No, we are three short. We can make another bed, though. How lovely. We can make more water storage as well. 
Yay! Oh, we need to upgrade two more objects uh, to get level five. Oh, we did build the stuff, didn't we? Yes, we did. Uh, weather vane. Upgrade. Yes. Yeah, go and upgrade the weather vane. And then upgrade the capacity. Uh, that's another upgrade. I'll make it four out of five. Then we just need to upgrade one more item. And we'll have unlocked tier three by upgrading stuff. Uh, I never go for max people, uh, Cigar. I never go for uh, max shelter residents. I think the most we've had is probably between eight and ten, I think, people in our faction. Here comes the rain. Okay, so weather vane's back up and running. Our power is now okay, kind of. Skill builder can craft tier three recipes from the drafting table. Nice, okay. So now what we can do is we can get the stuff for this. So we need more cogs. Whoop, whoop. Uh, not Alistair, no. Katia, when you wake up, please craft me some cogs. Like loads of them, like I don't know. As many as you can. There we go. Confirm. And then after you've done such a fantastic job, go and drink yourself some lovely, lovely water. You, on the other hand, need to do basically everything. So go use the toilet, then take a shower, then drink some water, then come back up and open the pantry and have yourself some of this broccoli soup, and then go to sleep after repairing the bed. Down to four degrees, good. So what's the degrade rate? 11%, good, it keeps going down. Whew. Right. Okie dokie, George. Oh dear, right, okay, you're the same. Use toilet, take shower, drink water, and then go to sleep. Who just went outside? I s oh, the cat. The cat. I was like, the door opened and closed, but everyone's in the shelter. What's going on? Of course, Shadow has seen the rain and gone, I love water, I'm a cat, so I'm going to go outside. Like that ever happens in real life. There we go, your stats are about to be sorted, and Katya, I want you to craft me an object, tier 3, and it's a wall fan. Bing. Bong. And then after you've done that, disable that one. Come on, get it done, 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 get it done! Minus two, please. There we go. That's more like it. Minus nine point something or other. There we go. It's back into freezing territory and our food has been saved. Uh, I don't know whether there's room in the basement for the... Not entirely sure why I did that. Okay, rearrange shelter is what I was trying to do. There we go. Will it fit down there? Mm, computer says no, but we can put it there. There we go. And we got rats. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, right, clean shelter. How many hours? 4.8. Lovely. Clean shelter, please. Uh, then you're going to need to take a shower and drink water and have food and you can have yourself some cooked meat that's rotting away slowly there we go eat some of that bonkersness absolute bonkersness oh the chickens oh they've got oh wow they actually crowed <laughs> how brilliant 
they actually crowed. And there's, there's three eggs as well. Awesome. Collect eggs. Clonk. Clonk, clonk. Confirm. Okay, Shadow, stop bringing back meat. Seriously, especially human meat. Okay, George has increased strength. Fantastic. Oh, go on, cat. Hunt the rat. Yeah! Well done, Shadow. Do you get meat for that? Yeah, you do. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's the first time after the big release 1.2 we've actually seen a cat kill a rat and harvest it for food, the same as you could in Sheltered. That's awesome. Okay, temperature wise, how are we doing? Not terribly. Okay. And is that George? No, it's not, it's Alistair. Okay, he's got skills to spend, so strength. Let's level up his backpacking. There we go. And let's get him working out again because his strength is still clearly shocking. No, it's not bad actually, it's five. Uh, so it's dexterity that we need to improve. So go and exercise. George, on the other hand, go and deconstruct the demonic planter. So deconstruct it. And we'll put the other one next to it. Oh, we've got somebody else approaching the shelter. Nothing in the junk pile. Is the person going to walk to us or past? No, oh, they're walking past. Okay. No bother, no problem. Right. You go and deconstruct that, George. It's uh, You're going to get heat exhaustion. It's 23 degrees Celsius outside. It's very, very hot. That's the one thing they still need to adjust is when heat exhaustion hits. It should really only hit when it goes above, I reckon, 40 degrees Celsius. Right, and the reason I'm getting George to deconstruct it is because he has the character trait resourceful, uh, which means uh, he gets more items back when he deconstructs something. Right, okay, now craft object, tier three, we should now have, yeah, the large greenhouse. But for that, we need way more stuff and we haven't got enough to build it. Okay, so the tier two one, we need uh, three more pipes, so that's not the end of the world. We can get George to come back in and craft them. One, two, three. Got plenty of metal scraps, so that's not a problem. The other thing is the deer stand, but of course we don't have enough wood for that either. So to get the deer stand to hunt this fellow who's running around the top, uh, we will need more wood, masses more wood. George's perception is shocking as well. All right, Shadow's increased his prey drive. That's good. So Shadow, our cat, is now level six for prey drive, nearly level six for scavenging, and is more than halfway to level four for affection. So that's not bad. We're doing well. Still not got a dog yet, of course, uh, but that's because they seem to be impossible to catch. Uh, right, now, because we've unlocked tier two strength, we want to go and decide what are we going to do. So are we going to go with headbutt? Are we going to go with setting a broken bone? Are we going to go with the shoulder barge? Or are we going to go with a kick? So, I think we'll go with kick. There we go. And close. George needs to eat. So, opens the pantry and have a nice cooked piece of meat. Lovely stuff. And we do need to go on an expedition. So, once he's eaten, how is Alistair? Oh, perfect. Alistair is in a good position as well. Uh, so let's go to Katia, who is going to eat as well, but then prepare rations from the remaining ones of these. There we go. Confirm. Get it on like Gaviscon. Right, then after you've prepared the rations, my dear, if you could possibly clean the table, that would be fantastic, and then give it a repair as well. And repair that one as well. Why not? Anything else in dire need of repair? Uh, yes, of course, we're now at the position where we have fans. So, of course, they need repairing. 
then after all that, oh, that one also needs repairing, so get that one repaired. There we go. Right, set up expedition time. Now that we've got more rations, not Katya, we want to take Alistair and George. Oh, we never repaired the bag, did we? Whoopsie daisy. Uh, repair equipment. Bag, please. Confirm. There we go. Bingo. Right, set up expedition. Alistair and George. Okay, next. So, we need the bag for Alistair because he hasn't got one yet. So, bag. There we go. Equipment being the improved stab vest. And George has a spare equipment slot. So, we'll put the cat bell back in. So, we've got binoculars. Uh, or should we give him armour? No, no. He can not have armour. Right, we do have a gun, so we do need bullets, of which we don't have many. We literally only have four bullets in our inventory, which is not great. That is actually beyond not great. That's actually quite terrible. Okay, anyway, medical goods. So, medical. Three med kits, three bandages, and then take one splint in case we get a broken bone back to no filter CI for circuit boards we now don't have any uh, so the next thing would be LE for lenses because we made loads see we've got a three star one fantastic it's worth 30 and we've got five two star ones um, so that is another 75 put those in okie dokie we need to do how much are they worth 20 yeah might as well take a couple of knuckle dusters as well yeah yeah Right, okay. Take, not equip, and uh, unequip, and take. There we go. And remove, and equip. No. Oh my goodness gracious me, slap me in the face with a brick. Right, take. There we go. Get rid of the filter. Go back to weapons, because we now need to get his gun back again. There we go his knife back again there we go okay we'll take a flashbang with us as well okay so we've got trade goods we've got defensive goods we've got medication and everything else that we need okie dokie let's go where are we going to go farm we've never been to it uh, okay so maybe head that way we've never been to the lumber yard and we do need wood so let's start with the farm lumber yard up to the other farm is that workable or is it a visit no it's a visit that's good along this edge we'll get to here we'll do a bit of a hunt uh, then we'll come back through uh, that lumber yard was 20 days ago so what we could do actually is then come here 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 and here and back to the shelter there we go Okay, so 21 rations, we'll add an extra 10, as always, and send them on their merry little way. Thanks for tuning in, Cigar, appreciate it. Uh, if you've already left, I apologise for not saying goodbye to you before you left. But uh, have a good sleep. Yeah, if it's past 2am, dude, you need sleep. I know, I know, our cat is super evil. Our cat just keeps bringing back human meat. It's like, seriously, dude. Okay, right. What we really need is blueprints. Because we haven't got the battery bank yet, which is shocking. It's currently generating 4.5 kilowatt hours. Uh, let's see what our current power is doing. Uh, so total power draw 7.71 and we're producing 16 so that's fine uh, so we could afford to turn the recycler back on there we go and close because it is recycling obviously we just never finished recycling the items so I thought it might be worth turning it back on while we can Okay, again, speed up time. Let Catcher complete her working list. There we go. 
there we go and back down she's cold now of course let's have a look at the temperatures yep 18 7 14 20 okay so everything's fairly reasonable uh what have we got this fan set to three okay leave it at 20 close and what's this one set at 15 okay let's make it 20 as well there we go Ah, right, cool. Cigar, you're still here. If it's gone 2 a.m., dude, get yourself some sleep. You, know, you can always come back and watch the end of this stream. The stream's finishing in 20 minutes. So, I don't advocate staying up ridiculously late. Even though I do it myself. So, I'm one to talk. But then I've always been a night owl. So, I'm not a morning person. Wake me up at 7 in the morning and I'm not the nicest of people on the planet. Although, of course, I've had to be, because I've had to be taking my son to school, which I don't normally do. Right. Okie dokie. Katya, you need two things. You need sleep and food. So let's get you some food uh, in the form of cooked meat, because it's not that hugely needy, your hunger circle. And then you can go and repair the beds and go to sleep. There we go. And we can speed up time. Oh, just as I said that, we've had an encounter. Other survivors. Okay, investigate. Encounter in the grass. Oh, hi there. You're not a slaver, are you? I don't think I could handle going through that again. If you're not a slaver, what do you want? Uh, we want trade. Is that alright? Trade town goods. What do you got? Uh, well, you've got nothing that I want. Uh, we'll take your cool diet. And we'll take your cabbage seeds. Okay, fine. 7.5. What have we got that's worth 7.5? The answer is nothing. Everything is worth more. So we need to take more stuff. Okay, we'll take your silicon. That's now 13.5. What's our cheapest item? 15. Okay, what are these seeds worth? There we go. 17.25, 16.5. Trade. Trader does not agree. Greedy, greedy bleep. Okay, so I'm going to have to lose out, aren't I? Clearly. Yep, okay. Fine, there we go. I should have just walked away from that, really, without any kind of deal at all. But, it is what it is. Ah, pharmacist, cool. Uh, one of my friends uh, went to study pharmacology at university, uh, gave up, and he's now a uh, recruitment consultant. So, yeah, that's how that went for him. Uh, my wife works in the trial industry, so medical trials, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yep, similar industry. I, on the other hand, work within the uh, financial industry. I work for MasterCard. Right, so speed up time. I, I'm very conscious I can hear like a cat constantly. Oh dear, oh no, that's good. That's 70% full. It's the toilet that needs cleaning when she wakes up. There we go. And speed up time a little bit more while they search the location and catches asleep. Oh, the cat's actually brought back decent stuff. Gold, burned clothes, and three extra meat. Lovely, well done, Shadow. 10 out of 10. And we've searched the location. Awesome. Should be lots of wood. <laughs> it's a lumber. Oh, this is the farm, isn't it? Not the lumber yard. Okay. Well, we'll take the shotgun shells. I would have preferred bullets. Or a shotgun, at least. Okay. Frying pan. Leather. Glass jars we will take as well. And the wooden crate we're going to have to take. Uh, the televisual device. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Right. We'll take all the wood, all the nylon, all the rope. Uh, the radio. That gives transistors. Uh what the book begin a slew thing we've already got two but we'll take it anyway because it's worth 40 plastic we definitely don't need uh, we'll take the metal plate the motor we might as well take the broken glass because we can use it as a trade item and we've got loads of bones like 12 and we've got 17 fat so that can stay behind conscious of weight but we're not actually visiting that many locations so maybe take it all anyway there we go. Confirm. We can always dump stuff, but dump stuff at another location anyway. Okay, it's a very short walk for them to the next location. I 
I know. Tell me about it. It was nice for the nice for the cat to finally bring back some normal meat. Silly kitty cat who's out of focus for some reason. Oh, look at the cat's eyes. Look. Evil kitty. If I move the camera slightly, the light reflects out of her eyes. Or his eyes. We don't know the gender, of course, because I can't go in and check. Oh, she's cleaning herself. Or his self. And appears to be meowing constantly, for whatever reason. Okay, let's speed up time again. This catch is still asleep anyway. And searching the next location. Lovely stuff. What would be hilarious to watch would be Shadow going outside, leaping on the deer, and just hanging from the jugular for about ten minutes. And then the, uh, then the deer just collapses and dies. Shadow's inner lion coming out. Okay, we've got stuff that is in desperate need of repair now. And... Add feed. Oh, there we go, 70%. Straight away, cool. Confirm. And then... Uh, clean, maybe? Yep, clean. And... We haven't, oh, we have got eggs, so collect eggs. There we go. Confirm. And then repair, and repair, and repair. I know it's hot, you're going to have to suffer heat exhaustion. And we've got the location to view the items. The lumber yard that has no wood. It has one piece of wood. The lumber yard that has one piece of wood. Really? Just really? And no blueprints, of course. More fertilised chicken eggs, we'll take those. Uh, the cogs, we might as well take them. The rope will take. The food will take. The jars will take. The scrap piles, we will take. How many batteries have we now got? Loads, but we'll take it anyway. Frying pan, we'll take. Knife, we'll take. Leather, we'll take. Two-star plastic, we'll definitely take. How are we weight-wise? We're at 181. What are these books? Beginner sleuthing, where we've already got two, and I do believe we've picked up another one here. Yes. Uh, intermediate auditory and beginner auditor oratory. Okay, so we're might as well take those. Hey, 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 how much rubber have we got? 16? Right, we'll take those. Nails, we're down to 39, but we can make them, that's fine. We'll take the glass as well, and we'll take the rock. And the rest of this stuff, how many metal plates have we got? Six, okay, well, we'll take that. We're getting quite close, so we'll leave the rest of this behind, because, of course, that coal weighs 100, so... Confirm. Onwards and forwards they go, as we approach the last 12 minutes of the stream. Okay, well, she's got a nice queue of things to do, so let's speed up time. Here we go, rock on the high speed. There we go, get everything repaired, lovely stuff. And in fact, I'm going to add a task to your queue, which is go to the loo. Ding dong, that rhymed. And go and clean the shelter again as well. Because, surprise, surprise, it's filthy again. Oh, we've encountered an animal. Okay. Party has encountered a friendly animal. Okay, a cat has sprung into view. Tigger. Seems somewhat cautious about the party. Okay. This this process is total BS, by the way. I, 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 absolute BS. Okay, right. Stay still. That had no effect. Stay still. It worked. S stay still. Didn't respond. Stay still. Excellent. Awesome. So, 10% friendly. Okay. Recruits chance success of 10%. No, not going to work. Let's stay still. Looks like we gained a bit of trust then. Their temperament hasn't changed. And off the cat goes. So, we just have to wait till we encounter it again. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. I mean, I get it should be difficult, but there should be a way of do being able to do it in one go. It should be physically possible. But I guess you just keep encounter encountering the animals and slowly build trust with them until you can eventually recruit them. But I'll be honest, I'm not the kind of player that will sit sending a people people backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards over the same tile just to get an animal. I won't do it. 
because that is called too grindy. Anything that is too grindy is uh, not good. Although I'm saying that, I enjoy games that are pure grind, disguised as, disguised as gameplay. <laughs> After all, I did play EVE Online for 10 years, and that game is nothing but grind. Oh, and violent space battles with other human beings that are out to destroy everything that you have for fun. I didn't do that to other people, honest. Nod, nod, wink, wink. I didn't take ships to fly into low security space or no security space to hunt down silly people that ventured there without knowing what it was. <laughs> yeah, definitely Queen Bee. The, the pet mechanic is very ridiculous. That There's two people in your party, but you can only use the, per the lead person. And the second person doesn't get to use their stamina, which I think is a bit daft. Oh, we've got rain on the surface. Lovely stuff. Let's speed up the Timmy time. And then hold down the control key and see, see how busted everything is. And the answer is quite busted. And you're quite tired. Okay, how much more cleaning have you got to do? Mm. Okay, right. So, you're going to need to go and have a shower after you've done that cleaning, and then go to sleep. Prepare the bed, then sleep. Dear, I would physically come and murder you with a spoon, if I could. Just the noise constantly in the background. Right, finish searching the location. It's another farm that's going to have no wood. Ah... We found what is referred to as a magic location. I think they put these in the, into the game quite deliberately. So these magic locations, everything is three star. Everything is of quality three star. Which, when you get further into the game, this location is going to be a godsend. Okay, intermediate sleuthing we will take. Well, let's be honest, we're going to take all. There we go, lovely, confirm. Then we've got some hunting to do. We've got a load of other locations to visit, of course. But still, no freaking blueprints. Seriously, no freaking blueprints. I'm wondering if they've put them literally just into um, the H the outposts. Water storage at max capacity. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Thank you very much. All I can do for you, Katya, is speed up time. I can't actually make it uh, that you've finished cleaning, because apparently the job is never done. How much food is in cat bowl? 60%, not bad. I can add some more human flesh, add that to the end of the queue. Add some cooked human flesh, mind you. Not raw, cooked. There we go, confirm. Hey, selling ganja, welcome. You managed to get in for the last 10 minutes. Well done, mate. Right, let's collect our items. Take all and confirm. And let's see if we can... No, not rearrange shelter. That was not what I was trying to do. Craft object, tier 2. Uh, yep, we've got enough wood. Now we've got no circuit boards. Whoops. Okay, let's craft some. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're out of cabling, so let's make some cabling. Oh, we can't, because our queue is at max. Speed up time, speed up time. La, 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 la. Oh, actually, that noise is the cat isn't even in the shelter. Interesting. And it's not rats, either, because the place is clean, so there shouldn't be any rats, either. What's your desires? Read a book, explore and own, eat a meal with onion, explore, do something entertaining. Okay, well, let's add read a book to the end of your queue. There we go. And then, can we add... Oh, yes, we can add one more thing. Nice. And that was some cabling. There we go. Confirm. Got to have a full queue. Always have a full queue. Okay, let's speed up the timmy time again. Seeing as we're moving into the end of the stream, I want to get as much done in the last five minutes as is physically and humanly possible. 
I think the cat came back at the exact time that person... More human meat again, Shadow, seriously. Okay, let's respond to the numpty at the door. Have we hit the jackpot, Matthew? You're resourceful, but you're also pessimistic. And we already have someone who's resourceful. Also, 331212, Matthew, I'm sorry. The computer says no. Goodbye. Au revoir. Arrivederci. Okie dokie. Right, you've got a big old queue ahead of you. Up you wakey, please. Up you wakey, if that's real. No, it's not. Okay. Right. Come on. Come on. Get to your tasks. There we go. And speed up time some more. There we go. Now we can add some more cabling. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Confirm Avo. Go and read your storybook first, of course. Medium dust storm on the surface. Guys have nearly finished hunting. Speed up time again. I'm sure everything's going to start breaking in a minute. There we go. You've fulfilled your little mood modifier. Lovely stuff. Now, repairs. Yep. Repair. They've finished the hunt. Lovely stuff. Repair. And... Okay. And... There it is there. Repair. And actually also repair that. And you can't because your queue is full. Okay, there we go. Collect rewards. Take all. Confirm. Right, so the old clan controls this one. My allies control this one and this one. And we're going to go to the new location. But we haven't actually uncovered anything else. Um, no, that's just a road, of course. Yeah, no more locations uncovered, which is desperately disappointing. But it is what it is. Because the blueprints don't seem to exist in this game at all. None of them. We managed to find two early in the game, and the rest have not spawned. Which is shocking. Right, where did we get to repair-wise? What was the last one? Pedestal fan, which I think is this one. So we'll get this one repaired as well. And might as well repair that. And that. Now, I was building everything for a reason, wasn't I? So I made a load of stuff, and then what did I want to build? The answer is... wasn't necessarily that. I was doing it for something and I honestly cannot remember what now. So I built circuit boards. What did I need circuit boards for? Ah no it was. It was another wind turbine wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So actually we'll read more intelligence first because our power seems to be doing okay at the moment. We've got two fuel in the generator. We're only using, well actually we're using quite a bit, 0.43 a day. Carry on your tasks, my dear. Carry on your tasks. Again, with the speed of a guarded angel. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And when you're finished, go and read intelligence. There we go. What's she at, actually, intelligence-wise now? Oh, eight. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get it to ten. Seriously, animals? I can hear, like, four of them, and there's only one there. Right, let's collect the eggs. Lovely stuff. Confirm. Uh, it doesn't need cleaning, and the food is okay. Oh, and by the way, to those that weren't tuned in at the beginning of the stream, guess what else you can do with the chickens? <gasps> You can slaughter them, that's right. I don't know how long they live for, but I presume it's more than eight days. Okay, Catch is now hungry and thirsty, so after she's finished, uh, drink water there. Go up here, open the pantry. Grab yourself the gammon egg and chips, maybe? No, 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 no. Have the spinach soup. That is sustenance of 40. There we go, and then craft items, uh, we could make some fried eggs, which have a sustenance value of 25, that's not bad uh, we can't make any meat stew of course because we can't make potatoes yet uh, we do have some potato seeds actually I think, 
so let's make some broccoli soup. Nope. Let's make five cooked meat and two fried eggs. There we go. Confirm. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 24th of May is the Queen's birthday. Uh, it's the Jubilee. Very different thing. Um, so, unless the Queen's birthday is the 24th of May. I'm going to pause the game now, because uh, I saw the question selling Ganja. Um, so the Diamond Jubilee is coming up, uh, which is from when she was coronated. So that's how many years she has been monarch of the United Kingdom. Uh, who still, by the way, has the right to uh, behead anyone she chooses. It's just a law that she doesn't use. And also, uh, to those of you outside the United Kingdom, I shall give you another bit of information about the United Kingdom that not a lot of people know. Our Navy, our Air Force and our Army swear their oath of allegiance not to our government, but to our Queen. Therefore, in any given situation, when our militaries, navy or air force is used anywhere, it actually, the Queen has to say yes, not the government. The government actually has no say in the matter whatsoever. It's only our monarch that can decide whether, they, uh, whether they're used. I mean, law kind of tends to get ignored these days, but uh, let's just say that when the Queen is no longer Queen, and potentially we have King Charles, and let's see how many of the old laws come back again. Because I think a few of them might. But we'll have to wait and see. I've now gone past the end of my stream uh, with that little tidbit of information for you all. All it leaves me to do is wish you all well and say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, good night. And if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. <laughs>